Hi, this is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. This video is an update on how to fold this butterfly created by Ify Pinsinger. It explains the folding process in greater detail. This video is dedicated to Colombia, land of butterflies, and to Nairo Quintana and his accomplishment at the Tour of France 2013. Este video está dedicado a Colombia, tierra de mariposas, y a Nairo Quintana por sus logros en el Tour de Francia de 2013. We need a square piece of paper. I have here a 7 by 7 inch square. This butterfly was made with a 6 by 6 inch square. If we have dual color paper, we are going to begin on the white side of the paper. We are going to begin by folding the paper in a half. And we are going to bring the edges to the center. Rotate and repeat. Now, on this same side of the paper, we are going to mark these diagonal folds. Now we're going to fold this over and we're going to create a fold that comes from this point to here. And we bring it to this side as well. We repeat here, creating a line here. And we are going to rotate and repeat the process on this side. Now we're going to turn it over. And we are going to create a square that is here at the center. I'm going to bring this edge to the center and fold only between these two folds. Rotate the paper to this position and now we are going to create a mountain fold here and here. To do that we are going to open a little bit to this side. And bring this edge to the center.
we are going to repeat here creating these two folds so we push from here and push this in notice that the crease is only marked here we don't want to continue on just at the center we hold it in the air turn it over to this side and we are going to fold and reinforce this as a mountain fold now we have this creases here we are going to open the wings following those creases We can also fold this to reinforce it as a mountain. And now we have the wings very symmetrical. Very important here, we rotate the model. So we can say this will be the top wings and this will be the bottom wings. To the top wings, we just need to add one more crease here, reinforce that as a valley, and here. And we can just reinforce these edges. Now, the bottom wings will be these two. And what we want to do is to identify a lower triangle here. There is a fold that is existing. So we can fold it down. Same here. This was an existing fold, so we make sure that it is a mountain now. Now we are going to apply three folds to each one of these triangles. And those folds are bisecting the angles. To bisect is to divide each angle in a half. We begin here. And we are going to fold only to the center of the triangle. To about here. We calculate the first fold. And this lower one is a little... It's a little difficult to make, but carefully we just bring those edges together. We are going to repeat this here.
This fold is known as rabbit ear fold. Now we are going to open again. We are going to bring this part of the wing together with the upper part of the wing. We see our triangle here. So we're going to bring this point to the center. Both layers of the paper. Now we are going to hold in there and refold the other two angles that we have done before. And then we can press a little bit here to round. We want to round this area. And last, we are going to blunt this corner. That's optional, but I like doing that. We, we repeat the process here. Open this triangle. Hold it together with the upper part of the wing. Bring that tip to the center working with all layers and we are going to fold back on the lines that are existing there one and two this is straight at the moment. We want to just round it a little bit. Give it this nice round shape. We can blunt this corner. We can hold from here and reinforce this fold as a mountain and these two and the X marks as a valley. Then we can round the tip a little bit and shape it. This is the front of the butterfly, this is the back, and the butterfly is finished. For more origami ideas, visit origamispirit.com. Thank you. This is Leila Torres.